The Knowledge Matters School Tour visits school districts across the country that are making investments in teaching and learning through the implementation of high quality instructional materials. The latest leg on this school tour brought us to Delaware, where we saw abundant evidence that such materials are helping Delaware deliver first-rate instruction to its students. And I think what sold me was my kids' excitement. Oh, I love reading whole books, right? Not just the little excerpts, like, how does it end? How does it begin? They, they read it from front to back, and I remember walking into one class, and the teacher was like, it's time to transition. They were like, no! I was like, oh, look at my babies. Like, they're so excited. So that was the seller for me when the kids, you know, and they talk about the books. Like, I can go in and say, so tell me what's happening. I'm a firm believer in if you set high expectations, they're gonna to rise to it, and that's what this curriculum does. Um, we are teaching them new vocabulary each week, and it's not you know easy words. These are tough words that, that they're learning, and then it's awesome because then they use them. Like The most exciting thing for me is I had one class maybe two years ago, and every time any person in this whole building said one of our special words, they raised their hand. So like if they were in the hallway and an adult said, you know, use one of our words, like get in your spot, they all raised their hand. And I was like, yes, they're recognizing it outside of just when we're reading our stories. Um, so I've seen them grow so much from setting that high standard um, that they're really able to kind of push that and, and keep up with it. It's brought us together, having one program that, that, to me, that's what's really important. You can really focus your professional development around one solid program. Everyone's talking the same language. And, you know, in education, people are always looking for what's next, what's better. And I've, I've never allowed us to stray from the program. We are 100% in. We continue to do professional development every year. It is a breath of fresh air to have, <laughs> to have it so laid out and it be a curriculum that you trust and know that they, it is so thought out, so thorough and strong that you, you know, don't have to think about supplementing here and there, like you know it's all there. The preparation is definitely a whole lot simpler, you know, you need to know what's going on, of course, um, but so much less of trying to pull from different areas to have the materials, to have the books, to try to create a lesson that you know is, is valuable. You know, it's already there and you just, you know, need to be familiar with it. Do what you need to do for your kids with it. Um, but the preparation time, I, I, you know, you feel a little more um, sane. <laughs> a little, just so much more prepared um, in knowing that it is, what you're using is is strong in itself. I've taught lots of you know books with um, anthologies and through you know snippets of text you know in, in the books that they would give them snippets of text that you would get into you would read that text a couple times you would focus on a skill for the whole week you know whether it was main idea and details or making inferences for the whole week and then so we've, I've been through all that type of curriculum Here at Central, we have about a 27% EL population. So um, something that might not come up as much, might not be as explicitly talked about, is the children who come to us um, get a different experience when they read these books. Mm -hmm. And it levels the plan, playing field because of the background knowledge that the books bring. Um, it doesn't even really have to do really with race or socioeconomic status, the things that occur in the books that they read are just human things. So when they come here to us, we're having those rich conversations and their, feel, their confidence, confidence is being gained and it's level in the playing field with that background knowledge. So I think that's an important piece about closing the achievement gap is your children are coming here and getting experiences that they wouldn't get outside of school. And that's really what school is about. That was a big part of our professional learning plan for the district was to first um, train the leaders and then let the teachers kind of try. I, we got a lot of people on board with that, um, just kind of going slow and easing people into it and that also gave the 
leadership time to wrap their head around it and to grow strong so that when we were going to be in full implementation, they were really prepared to um, guide their teachers. As we started to get some really positive results, um, other districts started to come and say, well, what are you guys doing? You know, what, what's going on in Seaford? And that just brought such a sense of pride to our staff who has always cared about kids, but maybe they just didn't know or didn't have the tools to get the, these kinds of results that now they're, they're getting the kinds of results that they know that these students could do. I think we're growing leaders, teacher leaders, um, experts in the field, you know. Um, our, our teachers um, have a confidence and a desire to share what they're learning, and that's how everybody grows. You know, I think that it's the conversations and coming out of your comfort zone and constantly seeking new and exciting um, material and resources that are going to engage your learners. I get pretty moved by the idea that um, kids that, are, that, that used to be called slow readers are reading the same um, books that the advanced readers are. And I think that that's really transformative in, in, in education. 